Okay, so we're just gonna talk about how to create a really, really simple FK setup in Apex. So I'm gonna throw down a cube just to have something to look at as I draw out my skeleton. And draw out the skeleton. And there. So I'm not gonna change the name of the skeleton. So right now we have 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I'm just gonna leave the names as it is. Uh, so first things first, we need to pack it into a pack folder into the second input and call this base skell. So of course, you know, over here you have all these different types. So this is going to be the skeleton type. So if I delete that and hit skeleton, it turns into skell. And I called it base because this is sort of the default naming convention of the auto rig component. So we're just going to keep it like that. So really quick, throw down an auto rig component. And we'll call this FK. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the component drop down list, select FK, and uh, now we need to promote uh, transform channels. So we need to tr promote the transform, rotation, and scale channels. So, one quick way to do that to go through all of our points is to just put down a star. The star acts as a wildcard that goes through and selects all of the points in the rig. So for instance, um, if I wanted to be more specific, I could look at my string here and notice that they all have similar naming conventions. So it's point, 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 right? So if I wanted to, I could say point star and there. So if I have my FK selected, press enter, and now I have FK controls. Fantastic. All right. So now that's pretty much done. So what we need to do is um, configure our controls. So Apex configure controls. And one thing I've noticed with the configure controls is if you put down an auto rig component, and so if I go to configure controls, you have less uh, you, like you don't have these drop down menus that you do on the actual configure controls node, um, which is too bad. So like, for instance, you know, if you use your shape override, you don't have the, uh, you have all these uh, shapes here, right? But over here, you don't have that drop down. You just have to sort of remember what the name of the control is. So it's better to use the actual configure controls node than grabbing it out of the apex uh, auto rate component. Okay, so we're going to configure our controls. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit point star. And let's use a box. We're going to make it bigger in our shape offset. Use a color. Boom. And apex add character. We'll throw that down so we can add a character to our apex evaluation scene. And then we drop down and animate. And Bob's your uncle. There we go. We have full FK controller. So I just wanted to jump in here a little bit more and show a quick example of why rigging in Houdini is so powerful. Um, so let's say we wanted to create some sort of a spider creature, right? So we can go back into our skeleton, we can hit F, and now I'm in modify, right? So I want to take this and just sort of tweak it, and move it around. Um, I'm going to, um, let's see, actually, no, we don't want to do that. I'm going to take this guy. So first, let's merge our skeletons so that we can actually see the changes that we're making. So I'm going to take this, move it over, and then I'm going to take this and move it over. And now we're going to throw all of that into our pack folder. We need to make sure to get that name, to set the name again. Because once you uh, deselect and put it back in, it removes the name. So you just got to get the name back in there. Now, the FK isn't going to work anymore because we don't have proper naming conventions. We're going to have naming conflicts because there's 0 .0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1. So what you can do is you can throw down an attribute wrangle 
And within the wrangle, you just set the name. So I'm going to say JNT underscore plus ITOA. So the ITOA function, what this does, it, it takes a integer and it converts it into a string. So in this case, the integer that we want is the number of the point or the point num. So now all of our joints have unique names. So we won't run into that conflict anymore. But here's what's great about rigging in Houdini using Apex is that now you just go to our FK and everything is updated. But wait, it's not right because we didn't because we changed our naming convention. So now if I change all of these to joints, now we have all those joints and we have FK on each of them. So if we go to configure controls, we gotta do the same thing here. Change that to joint. And all of our joints are all set up automatically. And we can go in and animate to our heart's desire. Super cool. In the next video, we're going to use some of the basic concepts that we learned to create a simple ARM IK rig.